Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the new case that Valve is releasing. Before we get started though, hopefully you guys entered the giveaways and good luck to you all on those. There's one happening today for an AK-47 Cartel Minimal Wear and one happening tomorrow for an AK-47 Vulcan Field Tested with four Stewie 2K stickers on it. I'm going to try and keep my intro short now and let's move straight into this video guys. Alright guys, so the new case is coming out and it's actually going to be celebrating the 20th anniversary of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is really, really cool. I'm glad that we've made it this far. It's really cool to be part of a game that has actually, you know, made it this far in its lifespan. And a lot of games don't make it 20 years. And uh, this is the official announcement. It states, To celebrate the 20th anniversary of Counter-Strike, we would like to invite Workshop contributors to create content for a themed weapon case and Sigur capsule. The theme will be Counter-Strike itself, including all things CS-related, from the original Counter-Strike mod to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The weapon finish and sticker designs may be created in any style. We will need weapons for all tiers to complete the case, from mil-spec to covert. Consider this when designing your weapon finishes. All designs must be original with the exception of Counter-Strike logos or icons. To help sort these themed submissions, please tag them with CS20 in the title of your submission in the workshop. And all previous submissions are eligible for this event. Just make sure to tag them so you can find them more easily. And uh, also the date is also released on this. It says all submissions for this event must be completed and submitted to the workshop by September 19th, 2019 and the weapon case and sticker capsule will be released at a later date, after we have chosen which submissions will be included. All items submitted for this event will still be eligible for future releases. Now you guys probably already know about this though, a lot of other content creators have already made videos on this, and also furthermore, the case has already been talked about from the news on Steam, so it's really not something new. But I'm not here to talk about the case and the information itself about the case and the announcement. What I'm here to talk about is how feasible of an investment the case is actually going to be. So the first thing they talked about is that obviously nothing like this has ever happened before. They've never released a case that actually has Counter-Strike logos on the weapon skins, and they've never released a case that has been celebrating Counter-Strike in all of its history. So what exactly does that mean? What is the actual importance of that statement? Well, what that means is if the case is only dropped for a limited period of time just because of the nature of the case itself, Itself, that means that the case can easily run out of supply really really quickly and can go way up in price after it is not being dropped anymore. Now obviously that's probably not going to happen, it's probably just going to be like a regular case where it's dropped in game. Obviously we don't know yet though, obviously it could be something like Team Fortress 2 where you can straight up buy the case from the game itself. But that part of the case is far too speculative right now so we're going to move straight past that, I just want to make sure that people are aware that that could be a weird kind of thing just because of the nature of the case itself. Though I do believe that the case is is going to be dropped in game. Now one more important note to talk about is that it explicitly states that you can use Counter-Strike logos on the weapon finishes that you're making. Now what's interesting about this is that there already have been skins where they have had their own weapon finishes with logos on it, like take the Bloodsport skins for example, there's a few of them already that are in the game, and those all have logos on them and they're, you know, decently expensive for each tier that they're in. The AK Bloodsport is obviously not the top tier AK in the game, but it is still way up there and it's still a really nice one that a lot of people want. Now the reason that I bring up the Bloodsport weapons obviously is because they have logos on them just like how these skins could potentially have logos on them. But the difference here is that these skins are going to have Counter-Strike logos on them specifically instead of Bloodsport logos where they have just random stuff like Voltaic and the other random logos that are on it. Now the significance here is that this can go two completely different ways. We can either see people that are super super interested in sporting the Counter-Strike logos on their weapon finishes and a lot of people running around with them, or we can see people that are completely disinterested in the skin altogether because it has Counter-Strike logos on it. Now like the post said, obviously it doesn't have to have logos on the skins, so there is a chance that they're not going to have logos on the skins, but one thing that I do want to mention is that the best way for a workshop creator to get their skin actually in the game and to be able to make money off of their skin submission is to actually put the logos of Counter-Strike on their weapons. The interesting thing is this news announcement really alludes to people using these Counter-Strike logos on their weapon finishes to get them on the game. So I think that a lot of workshop submission creators are actually going to put the logos on their skins and the reason I think this is because a lot of these workshop creators want to get their skins in the game and the best way to do that is to follow what the news article is saying and to get their skin more noticed by incorporating the logos into the skins. When it comes to logos, this can go two completely different ways. Creators can either incorporate the logos really, really well into the skins, making the skins look super, super nice and extremely desirable to a lot of buyers, or they can do a really bad job of it and make the logos way too overbearing, and they could really ruin their workshop submission altogether, which could result in the skin still being put in the game because it's been noticed because of the logos, but the skin not really vying a lot of attention because the skin 
actually has really overbearing logos on it. So the community won't like it, but maybe the developers of the skins will. Now if we look at Counter-Strike case history and all of the logo incorporated skins and design incorporated skins that have been put in the game already, the future for this case looks pretty bright. When it comes to developers of skins putting their logos or putting designs into their skins itself, or you know, the ideas into the skins themselves, like take the USPS Orion for example, the idea behind that skin was to put some orange tint on a space age more minimalistic looking skin, and they did a really really good job of representing that, and they did a really good job of making the skin itself. The execution was really, really nice. Or if we take a look at a skin that has a little bit more focus on a giant logo itself, let's look at the M4A4 Desolate Space, where there's a gigantic logo that covers pretty much the entire skin itself. It's an art design that the person kind of just slapped on the skin, it seems. However, the person who created the skin also was able to match the colorations of the rest of the M4A4 that's not wrapped with the logo, and they did a really good job of that. They did a really good job of matching the color scheme to it, and so the M4A4 Desolate Space ends up looking like a really cool M4A4, even though it's just a really big logo slapped onto it. So my point here is that workshop creators that actually have their skins put in the game have a really good track record of making extremely well executed skins when it comes to actually getting them in the game. So I think we're going to see a lot of that with this new case. I think these workshop developers are going to be able to incorporate logos and incorporate the 20th anniversary of Counter-Strike into their skins in a really nice way. That being said, what are the investment opportunities in this case? Well, for starters, we don't know if we're going to have knives or gloves actually put into the case itself. On one hand, people are theorizing that we're going to have something like the 1.6 knife as an obtainable knife from the case itself. Maybe just being the only knife in the case, or maybe the 1.6 knife will actually have some new skins attached to it. Another option is using the default knives from the T and CT side in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but putting skins on those as well, which could be kind of an interesting thing as well. Or they could throw us through a loop and choose gloves that could have a lot of relevance with Counter-Strike's 20th anniversary, and maybe have a lot of designs incorporated onto the gloves itself that looks like that. Or obviously we could just get something super basic, like a bunch of new knife finishes on older knives, like the butterfly knife or the talon knife, and I think that probably is the most likely scenario that we could speculate on, but I don't know if that's going to happen for sure. Obviously, we don't have any information referencing the rare special item in this case, but based on the theme of this case, we can kind of speculate on some of the things that it could possibly be. So in terms of the extraordinary item or the rare special item in this case, I don't know if we have enough information to necessarily say that it's going to be a good investment, uh, because we don't know how much demand people are actually going to have for a 1.6 knife, or for new weapon finishes on default knives, or for new weapon finishes on older knives. However, it seems that a lot of people do want the 1.6 knife to actually be put in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, so I do think that we have a really high opportunity of a really high demand rare special item in this case. So I think we can kind of say with pretty high confidence that the rare special item in this case is going to be a nice investment. Also, now that we've decided that the logo idea is going to be incorporated well, you know, generally obviously, if we're speculating on this, then I think we can also confidently say that any of the covert skins or the pink skins are also going to be really, really good investments as well. Now, obviously we don't know what the pink skins are going to be for. We don't know what guns they're going to be for. It could be for like the R8 revolver, obviously, and they could maintain a really low price, or it could be something nice like an AUG skin or an AK skin, which hold a really nice high price. So in terms of weapon finishes, we can probably say that it's going to still have a high demand and the weapon finishes are going to be incorporated well and they're going to look good on the skin. However, we don't know what the guns are going to actually be. We don't know what skins are going to be on the covert weapons or for the pink weapons. So we don't know if that aspect of the case could be a dud. Because as we know, really high tier skins on really low tier weapons don't really go over that well. People actually want to be able to use the weapon in game that they're going to buy a play skin for, so for that reason, they have to actually also have a good skin and be on a good gun. That's the reason that we have a lot of 50-50 trade-ups where you can either lose a lot of money on a covert trade-up or gain a bunch of money on a covert trade-up. As for the purple and blue skins, I do want to just talk about the purple skins. I don't know if the blue skins are going to be good or not, they could be, they could not be. We could see something like the AK Elite build, which is one of the highest volume AKs in the game, and it actually came from a blue in a case. Uh, but I think we should talk about the purples more, I think that's more of an important thing to discuss. One trend that Valve has been following is a lot of their purple tiers in cases have actually contained a really good looking weapon. Take for example the Prisma case recently, which had the Op Atheris, or the Danger Zone case, which had the USP Flashback. 
These are both really, really cool weapons and really good skins on those weapons. And so for that reason, it's kind of odd how Valve is putting kind of a really good, nice purple skin in each of its tiers. So I think that this case might follow the same trend just because of how long this trend has been going on and how, you know, consistent Valve has been with following this trend. So I think we can definitely see something like that again with this upcoming case. So I think the purples in this case could be a good investment as well. So how hyped should you get for this case and how nice of a case is this actually going to be in terms of an investment? Well, I can pretty confidently say that the investment opportunities in this case are going to be really, really high. I think this case is going to hold a really nice demand and it's also going to hold a really nice price for each skin in it. I think that people are going to be incorporating the logos that uh, that represent Counter-Strike and the other artwork that represents Counter-Strike really well into these skins. I think some cool ideas could be something like a Dust 2 AK-47 where it kind of represents the Dust 2 map or maybe an Inferno op where it represents the Inferno map. Something like that where there's a really classic map that a lot of people like and play that is incorporated into the skin itself. And I think something like that can really maintain a really high price. So I think it's fair to get hyped for this case. I think this case is going to do really well in terms of an investment and in terms of being, you know, living up to the hype. Um, I think when September rolls around and this case is actually being decided on and what's actually going to hold each of the tiers from, you know, mil spec to covert, I think what we can do from my channel perspective is go through the workshop and maybe look at some of the nice skin submissions that we've had and also look at some of the potential tiers that we could have for the case overall. So guys, that's about going to do it for this video. I think the last thing I should probably say on this topic is a overall rating for what this case could potentially be. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10. I think there's a lot of really cool ideas that could be incorporated into this case, and I think that there is going to be a nice investment opportunity in the form of this case. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video got you a little bit more hyped and a little bit more turned on to this case because I know that this wasn't really announced that much overall. I know it was kind of more of a silent announcement and people weren't really that overall hyped for this case as a whole. But I think that it can be really cool and I think it's going to introduce a lot of interesting skins into this game. So guys, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below telling me something I could improve or maybe telling me something you liked about this video. And consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, again, I have a Discord server now. It is in the description below below and I also have a Twitter account it is also in the description below and once again thank you so much for watching thank you for all the previous support and good luck on the giveaways I'm going to be signing out now peace wait what are you doing here still watching the video well uh, congratulations because you got some new information on what's going to be coming out in my next video so guys I actually wanted to do something really cool for my next video I wanted to actually talk about the AUG because the AUG recently got nerfed and I wanted to talk about how nerfs impact investments and I think that can be a really cool video. So that's going to happen after my big project during the summer sale that I already announced and uh, it's going to be the next regularly scheduled upload. So thanks for watching this whole video, thanks for watching this part of the, this video because that means you really do support me and you enjoy my content and that makes me feel really good. So thank you guys so much for watching, see you next time.